Good afternoon, everyone. <laughs> Greetings and welcome to Quinsigaman Community College's 2022 commencement ceremony. The faculty, staff, and administration of Quinsigamond Community College join in celebrating the class of 2022. As you well know, this has been a long road for your graduate, and we are delighted to join you in celebrating them today. <clears throat> Just a few housekeeping notes. We have asked everyone to wear a mask during this commencement ceremony due to the recent increase in COVID-19 cases and the recommendations by the local health officials to wear masks indoors. We thank you for your help and understanding. Persons in need of accommodations are welcome to see the staff in section 122. The best sight lines for the sign language interpreters are from section 107. The entire ceremony will be, will be closed captioned. Bathrooms and refreshments are available on the concourse. First aid is available just outside section 122. Students will be picking up their certificates and degrees in the South Hall after the ceremony. Please plan to meet them outside the DCU after the line of march has exited the arena. Thank you very much for being here. We hope that you've been watching the screen to see some of the great photos of our class of 2022. We now invite you to sit back and enjoy the opening ceremonies as we introduce the college's incredible class of 2022. The greatest philosophers said an obstacle doesn't prevent us from doing something. It presents us with an opportunity to overcome and persevere. And a time unlike any other in our modern day history you, the class of 2022, did the unthinkable. You kept up with your classes. You supported your family and friends. You dug deep and worked harder. With the conviction that better days were ahead, you knew there was a light at the end of the tunnel. You didn't wait for the storm to pass. You got up, went out and danced in the rain. You mastered new ways of learning, new ways of communicating, new ways of inclusion. And in the process, you became a more caring, kinder, and more thoughtful community. You became the change makers of our world. Today, you will be the ones who forge a better tomorrow for yourselves, for your families, and our communities. In a world where there has been such pain, you have been the shining light today. It is the college's greatest honor to introduce for the first time Prince Sigelman Community College's Class of 2022. Welcome to the 57th Commencement Ceremony. Are you ready? Are you sure you're ready? Okay, let the ceremony begin.
Welcome, honored guests, STEAM colleagues, dedicated faculty and staff, cherished families and friends, and most especially, our graduates, the class of 2022. This is Quinn Sigamon Community College. This is Quinn Sigamon Community College's first in person commencement ceremony since 2019. And I'm excited to see everybody here. May I now ask that everyone please stand? or remain standing as we welcome QCC's Senior Director of Development, Felicia Reifelmacher, to the stage to sing the National Anthem. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there oh who say does that star-spangled banner yet wave or the land of the free and the home of the brave. Please be seated. And thanks for that wonderful performance, Felicia. What a great way to start our ceremony. Now I ask that we have a moment of silence and recognitions of those we have lost this year and are not able to be present to celebrate this joyous occasion with us. We have lost friends, family members, colleagues, teachers, and students. Many members of our community we've lost through this time. So let us forever keep them in our hearts and in our memories. Thank you. As we kick off today's ceremony, I would like to acknowledge the other members of the platform parties, members of our board of trustees, our foundation board president, Linda Makel, our guest speaker, the Federal Housing Finance Agency Inspector General, Brian Tomney, our very distinguished professor emeriti, State Senator Ann Gobi, Worcester Mayor Joseph Petty, representatives from the faculty, students, and alumni who will present greetings today. The instructional deans and members of the college executive team as well. Additionally, we graciously welcome our very own former QCC alum, Jorgo Gucci, the chair of the Student Advisory Council for the Department of Higher Education. Jorgo will present greetings to you on behalf of the Department of Higher Education. Jorgo. Thank you, Mr. President. President Pedraja, Board of Trustees, honored special guests, faculty and administrators, family, friends, and most importantly, the class of 2022. My name is Yorgo Gushi, 
and it is with great pleasure that I bring greetings from the Commissioner of Higher Education, Carlos Santiago, and the Board of Higher Education. In retrospect, I was supposed to be standing on this podium two years ago to greet the QCC class of 2020 as their student government president. But as the first class to graduate through a global pandemic, that wasn't feasible. Now, two years later, I stand before you as an alumnus of QCC, an alumnus of Worcester Polytechnic Institute, a member of the Massachusetts Board of Higher Education and chair of the Student Advisory Council, and a full-time electrical engineer. By no means am I using my credentials to show off. I am using them to show what the QCC magic can do, how it can transform your life. At QCC, my perspectives, my talents, my history, and my voice were accepted, fostered, and supported. I would like to end my remarks with a short poem I wrote myself. As you all fly away, some words of advice I have to say. If things go south, as they frequently do, if turns along the road seem sharp too, if motivation is low and demands are high, if you really struggle to hold in a sigh, if your world feels like a foul up, step back if you wish, but don't give up. Put all you learn into good use. Don't be hesitant, afraid to lose. I wish you well in your adventure. I am proud of all your accomplishments. I cannot wait to see your future's astonishments. As often said, shoot for the stars, aim for the moon. This is not a goodbye. This is a see you soon. Thank you. Thank you, Giorgio. It is now my pleasure to introduce someone who has been chosen by the faculty to deliver greetings. Here representing the faculty who have had such an important part in your lives is Professor Dabe Bigonaghi. Dabe. Relax. No test. <laughs> Especially those tests that they don't have any partial credit. Sometimes I give some test quizzes, 20 questions. And I tell a student that if they are all correct, you get 100. If one is wrong, you get zero. Because you have to know how important it is to be accurate and be, to, to take care of what you are doing and be careful about it. And I tell them that don't take this paper after I correct it to your home. But one student did. There were one question wrong, he got zero. He took it home. His daughter looked at it and said, Dad, I get 75, you ground me for a week. You got zero, you should be grounded for the rest of your life. <laughs> After that, I decided to give either 100 or no 100. You cannot mute me, first of all. I try to be fast. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Dotbe Bigunahi. I am the coordinator and professor of engineering and biomedical engineering and sciences at Queen Sigamund Community College. I want to extend a very warm welcome to family and friends of our graduates, colleagues, honored guests, members of the platform party, President Pedraja, and most importantly, welcome and congratulations to Consigament Community College, Class of 2022. Two years ago, the spread of COVID-19 started. Classes got canceled, doors got locked, Colleges closed, but QCC faculty and staff 
with the help of our IT department that they did great job, work diligently to provide means to continue your education. Different modalities, remote, synchronous, asynchronous, online, and Zoom classes have started. Vaccination, mask, they were all, you are familiar with what happened with all of those. Thanks for inviting us to your houses during Zoom classes, showing us your pets, your family, children, and the picture of your pets sometimes, and the picture of your family. Sometimes you left the room and left us with your pets. And sometimes you forgot to mute your computers and shared your arguments with your siblings, with the whole class. <laughs> On behalf of Quinsigamon Community College faculty, congratulations. It has been a pleasure to have shared this part of your life's history with us. Enjoy today's ceremony and memorize. This one, memorize. The faculty at QCC are so very proud of you, especially many of you will be transferring to four-year college, and I know that engineering and biomedical engineering students are receiving 45, 50, 60, and sometimes $80,000. And I have been teaching for almost about half a century. Usually you are all aware that when you want to go to college, somebody wake you up in the morning, go for the visit, for the orientation, for all of those, and you said that I just finished high school. Why should I start again in other classes? It reminds me of a story. It's a short one. Once there was a party. Everybody was dancing, music, and having a good time. Suddenly, music stopped. The hostess took the microphone and said that in my hand, I have a $5 million check. And as you can see in this swimming pool, there is a shark moving, swimming. And it's, it has a voracious appetite, and it's, it's feeding time. If anybody can swim across this swimming pool, can have this $5 million check. For a while, there was a silence. Then suddenly the sound of a splash. Somebody swam quickly to the other side, came out. Everybody ran to that person and said, congratulations, congratulations, you won $5 million. The person said, wait a minute, wait a minute. Let me see who pushed me first. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Dave, for your inspiring message uh, to our graduates. Dave was one of the first uh, professors that came to see me, uh, bringing a plant and a gift and welcoming me to the college. So I'm glad that um, you share your story with us and, and inspired our students. Uh, it is now my pleasure to introduce to you Shauna Connolly, who brings virtual greetings from today's class. Shana is the 2021-2022 Student Government Association President. Shana is a member of both the Psi Beta Honor Society and the Phi Theta Kappa Honor Society. While at QCC, she earned an associate degree in general studies in 2015, an associate degree in criminal justice in 2021, and most recently has completed a law enforcement certificate I'm very proud to introduce to you this year's student greeter, Shauna Connolly. Good afternoon, Quinsigamon Community College graduates, faculty, and staff. Leo Tolstoy's book, The Kingdom of God is Within You, was first published in 1894. In his book, Tolstoy says, Satan can never be driven out by Satan. Error can never be corrected by error, and evil cannot be vanquished by evil. For many years, beginning at the age of 15, I was homebound. A pandemic didn't force this on me. My own body did. I was in my late 20s when my grandmother passed away of breast cancer. 
She was my first best friend. After she passed away, the family banded together to help my grandfather, an old World War II Navy veteran of the USS Boston, a polio survivor who lost most of the use of his right side to the disease. Despite that, he still helped to raise four kids and worked into his 80s. He and I were so much alike, we often joked that only we understood each other. I confided in him. I explained my illness and why I hadn't done much with my life up to that point. I shared my dreams and goals. He told me tales of tsunamis he saw in Japan. One morning, I was sitting with him before he went to work. He stood up to put on his sports coat when he muttered, How did I get so old so fast? I sat in my grandparents' kitchen like I had so many times before. I pondered how not long ago he too was in his 20s. One night I received a phone call from my grandfather. Though our conversation was familiar, he sounded different, almost frantic. As we ended the phone call, he said to me, I love you. I always will and I stand by you. I always will. You know that, right? I support you. I'll always be right by your side. You know that, right? He unexpectedly passed away five days later. That was our last conversation. If evil is darkness and good is light, then please turn the light on. I had realized that life goes way too fast. Time isn't promised and good things only come from doing. But with the spirit of my grandfather by my side, I fought a bit harder. I found a way to start making good things happen. The things we'd spoken about, it wasn't easy. It's still not easy. I turned the light on that darkness I had sat in for way too many years. Since then, I've made many friends, gone to the beach, sat at Fenway Park too many times to count, and obtained not one but two associate degrees. Thank you QCC for the certificate I'm obtaining today on top of those two degrees you've given me. My health started getting bad again in recent years, and as awful as the pandemic has been, it's made so much of life accessible to me. My doctor's appointments, grocery shopping, yoga classes, and all of student life here at QCC, and you better believe I've taken full advantage. You see, the good things in life, The really good things are the things you make happen. You need to be an active participant in your own life. 63 years after The Kingdom of God is Within You was first published, at the Dexter Avenue Baptist Church in Montgomery, Alabama, stood a then yet unknown young 28-year-old minister by the name of Martin Luther King Jr., giving a sermon in which he said, Returning hate for hate multiplies hate adding deeper darkness to a night already devoid of stars. Darkness cannot drive out darkness, only light can do that. Hate cannot drive out hate, only love can do that. We, the QCC class of 2022, might be the last class of the pandemic. You are here because through some of the darkest times the world has seen, you chose to turn on the light. You chose to make good happen for you. Our faculty and staff here at QCC still showed up for us, despite them going through their own darkness and despair. Some of them lost loved ones, some lost a parent, both parents even, on top of other hardships. But they still helped make today happen, because they too turned the light on. You see, good things don't just happen to you while sitting idle with your cup of coffee reading the latest social media post. Good things happen to those who do. Your future is bright because you chose to surpass all adversity and continue on your journey. Today, QCC is going to hand you a torch to help light the way through your future. My hope leaving QCC is that you always choose love and light. Thank you for letting me serve as your student government president, as it has been a pillar of light in my life. To all faculty and staff, thank you for helping keep the light on. Thank you, Shauna. That, that was amazing and inspiring. You certainly will be greatly missed at the college. We wish you the best of luck in your future endeavors, and I'm sure you will succeed. Thank you for being a part of QCC and, and for your leadership. Now, I would like to introduce, introduce Nefti Faustin, the president of our Alumni Association. Nefti is with us today to deliver greetings and best wishes on behalf of the more than 36,000 QCC alumni. Nefti. President Pedraja, member of board of trustee, member of faculty, and all of the members of class 2022, 
friends, family, distinguished guests. It's an honor to represent the Quincy Gaming Community College Alumni Association on this special day. I want to give honor to God for the opportunity to share this moment with you. As the president of the QCC Alumni Association, I want to formally welcome you to the QCC alumni and be a part of over 36,000 alumni in the Central Mass region. Your friends, family, QCC faculty, staff, fellow alumni are very proud of your achievement and are here to celebrate all you have accomplished. It's a privilege to witness your graduation after overcoming so many obstacles during the COVID-19 pandemic. The last two years were, to say least, uncertain, disheartening, and isolating. So many of you face situations where you ask, why me? However, you preserve, and now you can celebrate your triumph here. Remember, education won't be over after college. Life is a school, a journey of knowledge, experience, and wisdom. Pay attention to each lesson that life will teach you and never stop learning. Don't be afraid to fail because those failures prepare you for something bigger. You've been there, you've done that. Now you can be a model for others. As you pick up your diploma today, I hope you stop a minute to take a picture at our social booth and pick up your free alumni swag bag that includes water bottle, USB drive, car charger, and exciting calendar of alumni event for the upcoming academic year that will keep us connected after the graduation. Many of you will continue your education to other places, like any university of your choice. You will always be Wyvern, part of the QCC family. Don't ever forget that you start at QCC, that your first step in higher education were here, where you first meet your professor, your college classmate. We won't forget you, and we hope you never forget us. We want to celebrate all your milestones, starting today with the co this commencement, so please keep in touch. I believe they are future doctors, lawyers, engineers, entrepreneurs, community leaders, and of course, future alumni board officers in the class of 2022. There are also future generation of college students that will pass through this college. Some of you may be in the audience and hope you will join the alumni network one day to ensure that QCC and the support we provide for students is here, year to come. On behalf of the QCC alumni and the executive board, and QCC Alumni Association, we wish you every success in your future journey. I can't wait to hear about all of your successes. Bonne chance, buena suerte, and good luck, Class 2022. Thank you, Nefti. It's always amazing how our uh, graduates and our alums continue to get involved with our college and stay involved. And I certainly hope that all of you who are graduating today also have the opportunity to continue serving on the foundation, on the alumni board, and other aspects to give back to the college. Now I want to offer you some words of congratulation on your achievements. Many of you began this pandemic and the work, um, began your education in the middle of this pandemic, and yet here you are. Congratulations, class of 2022. Yeah, you can clap. <laughs> they deserve it. It is so wonderful to be here and to see everyone in person. This past few years have not been easy, not easy at all. We have endured the onslaught of one of the most devastating pandemics in recent history. We are scarred, but not deterred. 
It has been a time of uncertainty, a time of loss, struggles, and hardships for many of you and many in our communities. Our world remains fragile, but unbroken. It is in such times as these that our character is tested, our determination challenged, our grit tried. Yet, in spite of it all, you persevere. You persevere through the midst of this pandemic. You ha some of you had to quickly adapt to remote courses, while others chose to start your education in the worst part of the pandemic, unsure of what the future held. For many of you, this has not been an easy journey. Some of you are single parents, working adults, struggling to support your families, juggling a hectic schedule of work and children and family obligations, all while trying to keep up with your classes. Many of you have faced hunger and homelessness while still striving to achieve your education Others like me are first-generation college students, the first in your family to attend college. Or you might be immigrants who are uncertain of whether you will be able to finish. But you did it. And under the most difficult and unimaginable circumstances, look around you. Look at each other. Come on. Look, look at each other. This is what success looks like. This is where dreams begin. You are the bravest and the brightest, the hope for our future and the fabric from which dreams are made. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. Our community college students are amazing. I am amazed by each and every one of you each and every day and by everything that you accomplish in spite of life. I am amazed at your grit and determination. I am amazed by you, by what you have endured to get here today and by what you accomplish every single day and by what you are going to accomplish in the rest of your life. You have faced many obstacles but your determination and resilience, along with the support of your friends and family, has brought you here today. It has been an uphill battle for many of you, but you have reached the mountaintop. But don't stop here. This is just one of many mountains. There are many more mountains to conquer in your life, and I am certain that you will conquer them. Today, we live in a world dominated by divisive discourse, violence, inequality, and filled with uncertainty and challenges. But I know that you are up to our challenge, that our QCC students, that you, our graduates, are up to any challenge that life can throw at you. I am confident that you will succeed and that you will transform our world Continue to believe in yourself and believe in your dreams. Be brave and courageous. Look back on what you have accomplished and take strength from it. Bring the same grit and determination that got you through all these years to that what awaits you in the future. Don't ever let anyone deter you from your dreams or stand in your way. Dare to dream and dream big, dream boldly. Keep striving to better yourself and to transform our world into a better place. In spite of the challenges of today, I believe the future is bright because each and every one of you is in it. You bring us hope. Enjoy the celebration. Enjoy the pride and the smiles in your friends and family and the feeling of accomplishment you feel today. You have earned it. You are getting a degree today, not because you spend time here. The degree is just a testament of the time that you spend, of the accomplishment and your achievements. Don't stop here. Don't stop climbing. Don't stop learning and giving to others. Don't stop striving for a better future. 
The Wyburns are the guardian of Worcester and of the community. You are our future public servants, EMTs, first responders, doctors, nurses, scholars, teachers, politicians. The doors are wide open. So don't stop striving for a better future. Be the guardians that you're meant to be. Go Wyverns. Now, it gives me great pleasure to introduce our keynote speaker today, the Honorable Brian Tomney, Inspector General for the Federal Housing Finance Agency, who has a very exciting story of his life to share. Mr. Tomney is an incredible example of the power of higher education and where it can take you. Please join me in welcoming to the podium Mr. Brian Tomney. Thank you, President Pedraja, distinguished visitors, faculty and staff, family and friends, and our special guests, the graduates. I am honored and thrilled to speak with you all today. After more than two years of a pandemic, struggling to balance schoolwork and living life in a virtual world, after lockdown and masks, a great toilet paper shortage of 2020, you must be thrilled at the chance to celebrate this day today in person. And not that I'm a mind reader, but I am imagining what many of you are thinking right now. You couldn't get Oprah? <laughs> Obama? No famous movie or TV star? Nope, you get the IG from FHFA. But today is not about your commencement speaker. Today is about you. I'm here because I was invited in part because my career began sitting like many of you are sitting today. But you are here because of your hard work, your long hours, and your drive to complete your certificate or degree. Now before I go too far, I would like to ask each one of you a question. What does this day mean to you? We'll get back to that in just a few minutes. So I'm the Inspector General at FHFA. What is an Inspector General? What is FHFA? Let me give you the super abbreviated version because we don't have an hour to talk about mortgage-backed securities. Long story short, after the housing crisis of the early 2000s, Congress created the Federal Housing Finance Agency, FHFA. FHFA is the federal re regulator for two companies, Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac, and a group of banks known as the Federal Home Loan Bank System. Now, even if you don't know anything about FHFA, I bet some of you have heard of Fannie and Freddie and that they have something to do with home mortgages. Well, in fact, Fannie and Freddie hold about $7 trillion in mortgages and mortgage-backed securities. And during the housing crisis, they received billions of dollars from the U.S. Treasury to keep them operating because of how important they are to America's economy. Many people might not realize it, but FHFA has an incredibly important job, both in making sure that the businesses they regulate operate in a safe and sound manner so that they can serve as a reliable source for funding in the housing finance market. But the agency also promotes equal, equitable access to affordable and sustainable housing. Now, as Inspector General, my ro role is not to make policy. I'm there to try to make the agency operate as good as it can and where it can operate even better. My office also investigates and prosecutes a variety of federal crimes relating to housing, home loans, and the mortgage industry. Some pretty big ones, too. I have a fantastic and dedicated team of public servants in my office who work quietly and without any fanfare, and who I am incredibly proud. But I really did not want to, not want to talk to you about mortgage-backed securities today, and you probably did not want to hear about them. And that's okay, because most likely, most of you will forget this speech by tomorrow. You'll likely forget who I was by next week. But it's true, I could not tell you who spoke at any of my three college commencements. Associate's degree, no idea. Bachelor's degree, nope. Law school, now law school I tried to remember because to me it didn't seem like it was that long ago, but I really have no idea who spoke. I couldn't tell you whether it was a man or a woman who spoke at any of them. What I do remember is emotion. 
I remember my emotions and feelings at each one of my graduations. I remember a feeling of accomplishment, fear of what's next, fear of adulting, a sense of loss remembering family members no longer with us, friends I would see less of, excitement, anxiousness, joy, gratitude. Surely I was a therapist dream client at each one of my graduations. And although I am no therapist, I would hesitate to guess that a good therapist would say it's okay to acknowledge your emotions and feelings. Dare I say it's healthy. Each one of the emotions that you feel today, no matter how passing an emotion may be, is profoundly important. Each emotion can be a vessel to the future and is a time capsule to the past. Each emotion is rooted in life that you have lived to date and the life that you have left to live. So let's talk about a few. Okay, I realize about one third of you probably just rolled your eyes. Oh no, emotions. I think he's going to talk about emotions. Hear me out, just a few. Accomplishment and pride. Whereas most folks thought that I would go to college and law school right after high school, I was drawn into public service first. I was a sophomore in high school when I began volunteering on my small town's rescue squad. I realized that public service was in my blood. I spent hours studying to be an EMT at age 16. And by the time I was a high school senior, I had learned some advanced EMT skills. And I decided that college was not going to be my thing. I always thought that college would happen, but on my own time, not what my parents may have wanted or what society expected. So I got a job in the fire department and delayed college. But as the paramedic career field evolved, my local southern Maine community college developed a two-year associate's degree in paramedicine. And although I once scoffed at the idea of getting a degree, I knew that a degree would be an accomplishment that I owned. And even though I ultimately found college algebra to be as enjoyable as high school algebra, sorry, math teachers, uh, I really did love learning new things. I still remember my microbiology course. I love that course. It is why I burn my chicken, pork, and hamburger to a crisp this day. Like moss in a wet forest and barnacles on a rocky shoreline, that salmonella is everywhere. So 10 years after graduating high school, I remember how I felt when I graduated with my associate's degree. It may have been a little selfish of me, but I remember feeling pretty down proud of myself for charting my own course after high school. I had accomplished this all on my own, paid my own way, and no one could take it from me. And many decades later, it is this two-year degree that has been the stepping stone for every non-traditional step that my career has taken. From going into burning buildings and delivering babies, to meeting presidents and sitting in the White House Situation Room, to hanging out of an old Huey helicopter flying low over Baghdad during a sandstorm, to sharing tea with an Afghan refugee family in Istanbul, to being chased by drug traffickers in Guatemala, all right, it was really not much of a chase, and were more just following, trying to scare me. It worked. And now giving a commencement speech to your community college in the state that I was born in just over 50 years ago. From this two-year degree, a life of incredible opportunities was born. And to each one of you sitting here today, hopefully with a similar sense of pride and accomplishment, those same opportunities await you. Today is another step forward on your own stone path. Now, as an aside, if you will allow me just a moment, I cannot speak to you all here today without briefly reflecting upon and remembering the Worcester Six and the value, if not the imperative, finding ways to serve. Ranging in age from 34 to 51, these six public servants, these brave Worcester firefighters, lost their lives in 1999, less than one mile from here. <clears throat> in a job where all, all give some <coughs> they gave all. The words always remember and never forget only mean something when we do remember, when we don't forget. <clears throat> and they mean the most when we find ways to give back to the community. So volunteer, give back, serve in some way. Find a path to service no matter how big or small, and I guarantee you that it will always be the capstone of your well-lived life. <clears throat> Fear and anxiety. Now I remember when I completed my law degree, I remember sitting in a crowd filled with fear and anxiety more than joy and happiness. Why? No, it wasn't because of the student loan debt, although that didn't help. I had been, thank you, sir. <clears throat> I 
I had been hired by the Department of Justice and was moving to Washington, D.C. with my young son and wife in just a few weeks, and for the first time in 36 years, moved more than 10 miles away from a now aging parent. What if I had made a mistake? I had turned down jobs <clears throat> that would have paid me more and kept me in Maine with my family and friends. But I simply refused to let fear and anxiety paralyze me. I try to harness them. I hate public speaking. Now my voice is going not because I hate public speaking, but I still hate public speaking. In fact, I'm crying like a little boy inside right now. But the fear of speaking in front of you all made me prepare. Not for the dry throat, but made me prepare for the speech. <clears throat> made me reflect on how a speech by some unknown guy in the government could have some meaning to some or all of you, even if only for a moment. And so I prepared. I wrote and I rewrote. I stood for hours talking to myself in the mirror. I channeled my emotions by finding the best way to manage them through preparation. And in the end, I hope I come up with a short speech that will give you some moments of reflection. So channel all of your emotions. <clears throat> channel the ones that don't feel so good into meaningful, productive energy. Use them as a sword to do great things, not a shield to live in the shadows. And channel the emotions that give you the highest high into focused and enlightening work. I would encourage you to always step towards the stones that seem the hardest to reach or the most difficult to see, because one emotion that never feels good is regret. <clears throat> Loss. I suspect that some of you are probably thinking of a loved one who could not be here today. Have faith that they are happy for you. They are proud of you. They know that you deserve to be here. Not every step forward is filled with the happiest of emotions. We often don't get to pick the next stone we step on. Emotions are not necessarily good or bad. Often they just are. If we listen to our emotions, each step we take can be a step forward. We honor the memories of those, those we love by being fearless, by doing good, and remembering that many of the stones that we walk on have been laid by those who came before us. Gratitude and thanks. <clears throat> now I dare say that few of you are here today because no one helped you along the way. And while today is meant to celebrate your accomplishment, be ever mindful of family members, friends, work colleagues, bosses, and random strangers who gave you strength, money, a shoulder to cry on, or a place to laugh. So we should say thank you, be thankful, and hopefully feel gratitude. And importantly, we should try to pay it forward by laying down a few stones for those who come after you. And finally, excitement and joy. <clears throat> of all the emotions that you may feel today, I sincerely hope that excitement and joy rise to the top. You worked hard to be here. Many of you worked to work hard to be here. You've each struggled in your own way. Maybe taking care of a sick family member or were sick yourself. Maybe you had a hard time paying a bill or bills, juggling your life while being a parent. Whatever struggles you have faced to get here today, you are here. Be excited at the path that lays ahead of you. You know, after two years of not seeing people, it really is great to see all of you here today. Even for this introverted, shy guy after two years of a pandemic, I realize that I don't dislike being around people quite as much as I thought I did. The last two years have been tough on all of us, and even the toughest of the tough have realized just how fragile our mental health can be. It is why our emotions and feelings should be listened to. We have all experienced the pande pandemic together, yet we've all had our unique experiences, just like each of you have taken your own unique path to today's ceremony. So even if, like me, you don't remember much of what is said here today, or who said it, even if the speech wasn't funny enough, or it was five minutes too long, or I didn't deliver it with a soaring oration of a Dr. King, a President Obama, Oprah, or Snoop Dogg, although I think he goes by Snoop these days, <clears throat> try to remember the emotions and the feelings that you felt. I asked you about 10 minutes ago, to, what does today mean to you? I should probably ask instead, how does this day make you feel? Take a moment to yourself now or later today just to think about how you feel about completing your degree or certificate and you'll be surprised by how many emotions you have. Learn from them. Remember and embrace your emotions today and always. They are yours and each one of them is valid. Honor them, just like we honor each one of you here today. 
Looking back at the stone path you have already walked, each step is etched with a different set of emotions. Today is yet another stone being laid at your feet. And while there are many more stones on your path to come, trust me, you cannot see around the corner. I sure as heck didn't. One emotion that I only mentioned in passing today is regret. For sure, my path has not been easy, but I've tried very hard not to have any regrets. So make every step count. My journey into a world of incredible opportunities started with my community college. Let today be the next step on your incredible journey. Congratulations to the class of 2022. Thank you, Brian. It truly is a pleasure to have you here with us today. And thank you for those inspiring words. I think Oprah and Obama would have been proud. <laughs> um, the college has established a tradition worthy, um, a tradition for worthy retiring professors with the title of, uh, for receiving uh, the title of Professor Emeritus. To receive this honor, one must have achieved the rank of full professor, served many years as a full-time member of the Quinsigamon faculty, and be deemed worthy of being acknowledged for excellence in teaching and for personifying the mission of the college in the community. This year we'll bestow this honor on two retiring professors in absentia, Professor Emeritus George Fish in interactive media and Professor Emerita Kathy Fredrickson in English. This year we're also bestowing the title of Administrative Emeritus to Dean Ken Dwyer in Digital Learning and the Center for Academic Excellence. To assist me in presenting him with this Emerita Medallion is Vice President of Academic Affairs, Dr. James Keane. <laughs> Dean Dwyer, please come forward. It is my pleasure to confer upon you the title of Administrative Emerita of Digital Learning and the Center for Academic Excellence in recognition of your 37 years of excellence in teaching and service to Quinsigamon Community College. This medal indicates this medal indicates how highly respected you are by your students and your colleagues. Congratulations and my very best wishes to you and your happiness and health as you enter into retirement. Your impact on this college and the Worcester community will be long remembered. Congratulations. Thank you. Now, I would like to acknowledge the presence of other distinguished professors and administrative emerita in our audience today. Our emer emeriti are known for their dedication to our students and they deserve special recognition. You will recognize them by their medals. Thank you for joining us today. At this time, please join me in welcoming to the podium our board chair, Alex Cicada. Mr. Cicada has been a trustee of the college since 2019, and his dedication and commitment to the college as a trustee is both commendable and greatly appreciated. Alex? Thank you, President Pedraja, and I'm thrilled to be here on behalf of my colleagues on the Board of Trustees of Quinsigamon Community College on this very special occasion, honoring QCC's 57th graduating class. These incredible graduates certainly deserve all the accolades they are receiving here today. They have balanced home, work, college studies, and even a global pandemic. Their fortitude, unwavering spirit, and will to, will to succeed brought them to today's monumental commencement ceremony. 
Our graduates are truly a representation of the communities they live and work in. They span all ages and ethnicities. Our traditional students right out of high school, non-traditional students, veterans, parents, first-generation college students, and immigrants who all have a goal of bettering their lives through higher education. They will go now in the world to become a positive change maker for our society. As these graduates, graduates celebrate with family and friends, let us all be reminded of the transformational power of a post-secondary education. It changes the course of a person's life, their family's life, and, the, and delivers skilled workforce in our community. Please join me in wishing these graduates well on their next journey, one that is bright with promise and one that has only just begun. Congratulations, class of 2022. Thank you, Alex. Uh, now, the moment you all have been waiting for, and it's not a speech from me. <laughs> we are now ready to transform you from students into graduates. And I invite the student marshals uh, to begin to lead the students to the platform. Chair Cicada, will you please issue the charge to the college? By the authority vested in me by the Commonwealth of Massachusetts, as chairperson of the Board of Trustees, I herewith charge the president of the college to confer upon the candidates of the class of 2022 the certificate or degree for which they have satisfactorily completed all requirements. Congratulations. Good afternoon. My name is Dr. James Keene, and I have the pleasure to serve as the Vice President of Academic Affairs. And I'd like to extend my congratulations to the class of 2022. I would also like to offer my thanks and congratulations to the amazing members of the faculty who played such a significant role in leading you to this wonderful day. Students are invited to remove their masks for photos as they cross the stage if they choose to do so. We will now present all the candidates for certificates and degrees. Graduates are asked to return to their seat after receiving their certificate or degree. President Pedraja, I now present to you candidates for certificates. If you'd like to follow along with your program, the certificates are listed alphabetically. Associate Vice President for Strategic Academic and Workforce Initiatives, Dr. Kathy Wrench will present graduates of the various certificate programs offered by the college. Christopher Ambold, Business Administration. Savan Bedrosian. Nelson Burgos. Cherie Berry. Catherine Elizabeth Hamlin. Shania Knight. Culinary Arts Certificate, Aya Mansour. Cybersecurity Certificate, Esmeraldo Maldonado. Chester Nayeba Awuni. Duplexing Fetch. Kucha Tiche. Sublime Kabasubabo. Dental Assisting Natalia Luz Maldonado. Uh, Chimi Lamo Dental Assisting Certificate. 
Early Childhood Education, Rawad Aziz. Elizabeth Francis Scanlon. Emergency Medical Technician, Janiah Alexis Adams Ingram. Joy Louise Racine. Energy Utility Certificates, Scott Mitchell Lawrence. Entrepreneurship and Small Business Management, Tara Rudolph. Jason Harold Ferberg. Help Desk Technician Certificates, Benjamin Opari Darko. Heating, Ventilation, Air Conditioning Certificate, Tara Beer Rye. Human Services, Nikechi Anwuka. Faracha Faustin. Rachel Perry. Ayana Jewel Whaley. Elizabeth Umatetsi. Alorian Orchid. Magdalena Amaro. Willie Boteco Maboma. Law Enforcement Certificate, Katie Giselle Ramirez. Medical Assisting Certificate and Associate in Arts and General Studies, Rebecca Owuso. Wendy Baroa. Mary Jermorson. Tom New. Janira Sanchez. Genesis Lisette Franco. Haley Woodward. Cigar Sharma. Medical Office Certificates, Vernalyn Lamigo Finn. Caitlin Lee Ballou. Malaya Christine Sweeney. Nursing Assistant Direct Entry Certificate, Jennifer Brooke Zinkus. <laughs> Natalia Carreno. Grace Almodovar. Phlebotomy Technician, Jamila Almonte. Yona Kamisi. Law Enforcement Certificate and Associate in Criminal Justice, Kamani Brian Millwood. <laughs> Phlebotomy EKG Technician, Nicole Murray. Mara Maritz Heredia. Narada, Narada, and Paratrice Reyes Vega. 
Amanda Dupree. Carolyn Avile Santiago. Kara Lynn Prinitis. Technician in Applied Behavior Analysis Certificates, Katherine Elizabeth Stewart. Unix Systems Administrator Certificates, Rodrigue Belmondo Fancu Saguang. Database and Web Applications Certificate, Ranin Elgizani. Practical Nursing Certificate, Kelly Beranos Berglund, Highest Honors. Camelia Diamond Parkland. Rebecca Ensai, highest high honors. Nana Okusai Owusu, high honors. Constance Pinamon. Honors. Erin Omoko Ada. Honors. Josephine Wairino. Honors. Paula Shavara Flores. Associates Arts and General Studies. Also Practical Nurse Certificate. Honors. <laughs> Melissa Jean Cheever. <laughs> Elizabeth Nazir. <laughs> Rosalind Effetti Tiku Henry. Honors. <laughs> Bernice Adoma. High honors. <laughs> Olivia Osei, honors. <laughs> Hina Carmu, honors. <laughs> Nana Botang, <laughs> Doris Agay. Haiti Kanutu. Daniel Eggman, high honors. Roland Accra. Stephanie Aksimi. Jasmine Crystal Naret. Shayna Mary Diaz. <laughs> Miriam Henry. Gina Bonolo, high honors. Rebecca Lynn Picard. Eunice Okerby Baku. Marie Seraphine Zibigin Musessa. Tawa Tamba Woods. Marissa Austin Honors. Marinalise Alvarez Vargas. 
Honors. Roberto Juna Pagan Honors. Jennifer Martinez. The following graduates are in an Associate in Applied Science degree programs. Automotive Technology, Garrett Noah Ruzelka. Haza Ka Lara, highest honors. Jackson David Kidridge. Augusta Valley, highest honors. The following graduates are in an Associate in Arts degree program. Early Childhood Education, Tierra Renee Bates. <laughs> Joseph B. Beauregard IV. Honors. <laughs> Jessica Calorio, highest honors. <laughs> Lauren May Jones, honors. <laughs> Lacey Elizabeth Minor. <laughs> Sheila Toro. Yes. High honors. <laughs> Jordan Elizabeth Trombley. <laughs> High honors. Kayla Malfetto. Also receiving a certificate in early childhood education, first through eight. And this is the first through eight degree. Monica Rosmero Caleb. <laughs> Julian M. Lozada. <laughs> Kayla Mackenzie O'Brien, also receiving a certificate. <laughs> Caitlin Taff, also receiving a certificate, honors. <laughs> Following students are receiving an Associate of Arts in General Studies. Sylvia Adoli Acque. <laughs> Gabriella Amoroso, also receiving a certificate in early childhood um, education. <laughs> Jorge Sierra, honors. George, high honors. 
Amber Rose Halliman, High Honors. Suhey Santiago, also receiving Associate of Arts in Liberal Arts. Austin James Liberty, High Honors. Bamba Suri Karoma. Ardita Krasnicki. Jasmine Yvonne Lopez. Veronique Suzanne Mengu, also high honors. Mason Gage Magrutter, honors. Zachary Thomas Milton, highest honors. Contessa Ortiz, highest honors. Samantha Osborne. Amanda Cheryl Pedjo, honors. Jackson Palazzi. Cynthia Rivas, also receiving a certificate in early childhood education. High honors. Megan Irene St. George, highest honors. Trevor W. Sawyer, highest honors. Laura Danielle Rizzoli, also receiving a certificate in early childhood education, honors. Jennifer Van Dusen, general studies, highest honors. Joy Marioki. High honors. General Studies Biotechnology Option, Apsatu Amdu, and Certificate in Biotechnology Technician, Honors. Anna Maldonado, also Certificate in Biotechnology Technician, Honors. Associate of Arts, General Studies, Def. Deaf Studies option with honors in Nira Nirales de Jesus. <laughs> Associate of Arts, General Studies, Elementary Education Transfer option. Abigail Elizabeth Bernacki, also receiving an Associate in Science degree in Business Administration career and the Certificate in administ uh, Business Administration, all high honors. Shelby Lynn McMullen. <laughs> Hyene Khan Nguyen, honors. <laughs> Kelly Ann DeMauro, high honors. <laughs> Lydia De Jesus Carrion. Sana Sheikh, highest honors. <laughs> Carolyn Doku, Associate of Arts in Pre-Pharmacy Option, honors.
Associate in Arts, Liberal Arts, with honors, Shane Robin Chapdelaine. <laughs> Associate in Arts, Liberal Arts, highest honors, Olivia Grace Lee. <laughs> Associate in Arts, Liberal Arts, highest honors, Talia McQueen. Associate in Arts, Liberal Arts, with highest honors, Elliot Gervais. Yes. Associate in Arts, Liberal Arts, with honors, Comrade Jam Connor Jamison Carlson. Yes. Associate in Arts, Liberal Arts, with highest honors, Jesio Andres Nieves. Yes. Associate in Arts, Liberal Arts, with highest honors, Anthony Rivera. <laughs> Associate in Arts, General Studies, Elementary Education Transfer Option, Samantha Eliana Munir. <laughs> Associate in Arts, Liberal Arts, with highest honors, Andrew Paul Stefanik. Associate in Arts, Liberal Arts, and Associate in Science, Business Administration Transfer with highest honors, Nina Nuri Santiago. <laughs> Associate in Arts, Liberal Arts, Zuran Samante. <laughs> Associate in Arts, Liberal Arts with highest honors, Madeline Mendez. Associate in Arts, Liberal Arts, Biology, Samara Raquel Ahmed. <laughs> Associate in Arts, Liberal Arts, Biology, with highest honors, Mariam Al Ahakim. <laughs> Associate in Arts, Liberal Arts, Biology, Nahomi Vissela Cruz Espinal. Associate in Arts, Liberal Arts, Biology, God Asher Gate. <laughs> Associate in Arts, Liberal Arts, Biology, with high honors, Mohammed Boedin. Let's go! Associate in Arts, Liberal Arts, Biology, with highest honors, J.C. Lynn Okuda. Associate in Arts, Liberal Arts, Biology, with honors, Timothy Ryan Stowell. <laughs> Associate in Arts, Liberal Arts, Chemistry, with highest honors, Harrison Ganya. Associate's Degree, Liberal Arts, English Option, Tracy Lee, honors. Tiffany Abreu, Rebecca Lynn Barton, high honors. Associate in Arts, Liberal Arts, Environmental Science Option with highest honors, Joseph Antonio Moragno. Associate in Arts, Liberal Arts, Environmental Science Option, Certificate, Public Health Certificate, with high honors, Clarissa Lee Johnson. Yeah. Associate in Arts, Liberal Arts, History Option, Anthony Michael Villa. Yeah. Associate in Arts, Liberal Arts, History Option, with highest honors, uh, Tiago Araujo Zakaitis. Associate in Arts, Liberal Arts, Media Communications Option, with high honors, Alexander James Horton. Yes. Graduates for Liberal Arts and Psychology, Michael Evanowski, highest honors. <laughs> Petra Rose Aswat. Michael Lafko, highest honors. <laughs> Tara Lynn Brennan, honors. <laughs> Julia Lynn Rosario, honors. 
Dori Carla Brito Chavez. Kennedy Yoshiko Day, highest honors. Amanda Cartez Guzman, highest honors. Tiffany Rodriguez De Castro, highest honors. Rebecca Melo, high honors. Naomi Safrina Asei Wusu. Graduates for the Associate of Arts, Liberal Arts, Sociology option. Isabel Josephine Reed Honors. Associate in Arts, Liberal Arts Theater option and Associate in Science Business Administration transfer with highest honors, Gracie Catherine Curtis. Yeah. <laughs> Associate in Arts, Liberal Arts Theater option, Jacob Welch. The following graduates are in the Associates in Science degree programs. In Business Administration, Korea, Doris Bell, Baez, Fabian, Honors. <laughs> Emily Casey, Honors. <laughs> Rasa Oskalin, Nite, Highest Honors. Kimberly Ann Beals, highest honors and a degree and a certificate in accounting. Misotis Rosado, highest honors. Martha Cecilia Cano. Method Nishinwe, high honors. Marissa Joelle Parker, highest honors. Samantha Ta Saitavong. David Paul Millet, honors. Michelle Medeiros, honors. Nathaniel be to sell Noel. Noel. Grace Wangui Wanzhou. Honors. Natasha Lee Rosario. Joy Ann Torres. Highest honors. Christopher Richard. Brunel, high honors. <laughs> Bethany Lee Paradis. <laughs> Alexander Romano, an accounting certificate. <laughs> Ahmad Zaki Zahid. Ariana Nicole Martin. Ashley Aliyah Valentine. Priscilla Nimaco, high honors. Akuswa Pokua Kanadu, honors. Vanessa May Saber, high honors. Laura Alejandro. Degree in a business career, administrative professional, and a certificate in clerical office. Highest honors. Destiny Chiara Albino, 
highest honors. Business Administration Transfer. Mi T. Nguyen, highest honors. Rua Alajumeli, highest honors. A. Ni. Louis. Vasquez, highest honors. Jade Natasha Schultz, highest honors. Nok Tan Tran. Nua Min Ta. Elaine Bond, highest honors. Marta Gralla, highest high honors. Edras J. Colon Salomi, highest honors. Katia Gabriela Campos Avelos, honors. Isagia Lee Rivera. Isaac Anthony Martinez. Isaac Anthony Martinez. Austin Lane Gagman, high honors. <laughs> Muhammad N. Fowell, highest honors. <laughs> Juliana Baruso, high honors. Aaron Paul Meadows, highest honors. Danessa Alicia Dalton. Denise Otano, highest honors. Rachel Marie Blaze, honors. Deidre Kathleen Marie Marr, highest honors. Antonio De Los Santos Jr. Graduates of Computer Information Systems, Stephen Corso, highest honors. Lee Shen, high honors. Somaya Gantala, high honors. Keisha Romulus. This is for computer science transfer. Uh, Gregory Dumas, highest honors. <laughs> Lucas James Sicker, high honors. <laughs> Nicholas Constantine Kingness, highest honor. <laughs> Vishoy Sammy Solomon Hanna. Highest honor. Keith Paul Geneva, highest honor. Associate in Science, Computer Systems Engineering Technology. Cyber Security Options, Elim Hernandez Jr., highest honors. Michael Kojo Apamben, 
highest honors. Bernard Aguerman, high honors. Associate in Science, Computer Systems, Engineering, Technology, Cyber Security Option, and Certificate Cyber Security Honors. Gail Tende Honors. <laughs> Associate in Computer Systems, Engineering, Technology, Enterprise Information Technology Option. Raisa Fogain, High Honors. <laughs> Associate in Computer Systems Engineering Technology, Enterprise Information Technology Option, and Certificate, Network Net Technician Certificate, Elliot Matthew Benoit, honors. <laughs> Associate in Computer Science, Computer Systems Engineering Technology, Abdullah Mohammed. Certificate Network Technician, Carlos Torres Borges, highest honors. Graduates in criminal justice degree, traditional, Aurora McForbes, honors. <laughs> Stephanie Rose Rivera, honors. <laughs> Tabitha Rose Carrera Segura, <laughs> certificate in law enforcement certificate as well, honors. Christo Comtois, highest honors. <laughs> Kristen Lauren McNeil, certificate in law enforcement certificate, honors. <laughs> Nadia Michelle Ackerman, high honors. <laughs> Bettina Gentile, honors. Zara Ajumali. Onasia Siobhan Hutchins, honors. Kamani Brian Millwood, highest honors. Christopher Mark Naples, honors. Brooke Lenny Hemingway, Law Enforcement Certificate, Highest Honors, Criminal Justice Transfer Degree. Uh, thank you for the <laughs> Ezekiel David Diaz, High Honors. <laughs> Lorraine Vaz, Law Enforcement Certificate. Santa, Mar uh, Santa Maria Luz Rosa, Law Enforcement Certificate, Honors. Gazak Abdullahad, Law Enforcement Certificate, Honors. Jennifer Thomas, Honors. Sierra Lynn M. Bear, Highest Honors. Emmanuel Q. 
Kwame Aduba for. Ryan Paul Medeiros, Law Enforcement Certificate, Highest Honors. Associate in Science Dental Hygiene, Olivia Rose Mayo, Highest Honors. Jesse Nguyen Pham, Highest Honors. Madison Ray Villa, Highest Honors. Earning the degree of Electronics Engineering Technology, Biomedical op Instrumentation Option, and also the Mechatronics Option, Bim Prashad Mishra, High Honors. <laughs> Earning the Mechatronics Option, James C. Moen. <laughs> Mechatronics Option, Mason Joseph Jost, Highest Honors. Mechatronics Option, Ryan Michael Smith, Highest Honors. <laughs> Electronics Technology Certificate and also the Mechatronics Option, Eridon Mehmeti, Highest Honors. <laughs> Electronics Engineering Technology Mechatronics Option, Caroline De Andrade Maciel, Highest Honors. Electronics Engineering Technology Mechatronics Option, Anna Janelle Israelian, Highest Honors. <laughs> electronics Engineering Technology Photonics Option and also the Certificate in Electronics Technology, Lauren Ashley Dawson, Highest Honors. <laughs> electronics Engineering Technology Mechatronics Option, Brendan Michael Daly. Associate in Science Engineering, Carly Amber Burns, High Honors. Coral Marie Alicia Manon, Honors. Khadija Wagri, Associate in Science Engineering, Highest honor. Louis Gregorio Bohana, honors. O'Brien Bryce Melly Tenku, high honors. Dylan T. Tank, highest honors. Juan Mijo, engineering, associate in science engineering, highest honors. Ryan Tanri, honors. Jacob Shore, high honors. Giovanni James Panzella, high honors, highest honors. Dawson P. Durgan, Eduardo Muriera, highest high honors. Francisco Daniel Abru Polino, highest honors. Sang Hun Nam, honors.
फायर साइंस ने के Following students are receiving the Associate of Science in Fire Science. Matthew Robert Hansen, honors. <laughs> Nicole Chason, highest honors. Healthcare, Alexandra Catherine Richard, highest honors. Atwan Malavi, high honors. <laughs> Alyssa Marie Roy, honors. Let's see, associate in the healthcare, certificate in emergency medical technician, and a certificate in phlebotomy EKG technician. Very busy. Elena Shuda, congratulations. Kaylee Dion, highest honors. Wendy Stephanie Cruz, honors. Saskia Emil, Saskia Jean Emil, Jean, Saskia Jean Emil. Francis Altrich, uh, Associate in Science and Healthcare and Certificate in Phlebotomy EKG Technician Certificate. George Wase Kingu. Saraya Shira Shahira Abdel Heidi. High honors. Healthcare Medical Office Management Associate in Science, Deborah Felix Otero, high honors. Healthcare Pre Nursing Option, Victoria Villafine. Jadalis Mercedes Gonzalez, high honors. Tracy Pronovost, highest honors. Carolyn Nicole Elmanzar Gutierrez, high honors. Kaylee Maureen Jarvis, high honors. Paula Priscilla Maris Ribeiro, highest honors. Crucina de la Cruz. Pre nursing option degree. Healthcare Public Option Degree, Nursing Assistant Certificate, and Public Health Certificate. Congratulations, Sarah Rosemarie Condon. Ariola Shami, Highest Honors Pre Nursing. Associates in Public Health, and a Certificate in Public Health. Adam Madi Kalmasi, high honors. Gertrude Mutoha Malesi. Theodet Motetili Guciana Sierra. Guciera, honors. Shayla Rosanna Ryerson, and a Certificate in Public Health Honors.
earning her Associate in Science in Hospitality and Recreation Management and a certificate with high honors, Maria Isabella Leon Rodriguez. <laughs> Earning his associate in hospitality and recreation management food service option with high honors, Earl Parfit. Earning her Associate in Hospitality and Recreation Management Food Service with a Certificate in Food Service Management, High Honors, Brianna Ray Manzella. <laughs> Earning his Associate in Hospitality Food Service Management and a Certificate in Food Service Management with Highest Honors, Daniel Perister. Associate in Science, Human Services, Marari Alvarado, highest honors. Woo! Jessica Brackett, honors. Tatiana Romalin Negron. Winston Perez. High honors. Zarama Ramirez. Abigail Bergener, honors. Felicia Violet, highest honors. Sylvia Ventura, high honors. Gail Marie Delgado, high honors. Lucas Arthur Kuhn, highest honors. <laughs> Nicole Marie Boucher Eccleston. High honors. Kimberly Marie Hilton, honors. Stephen M. Bap Nagong, honors. Lady Bingombe Tots, highest honors. Andrea Arlene Campbell, high honors. Asha Day, Sasha Estrada, high honors. Samantha Nicole Violet, high honors. Eddie. Laverne, highest honors. Ada Garcia, honors. Javier Vieira, highest honors. Elizabeth Marie Barry, high honors. That's it. Thank you. Associate in Science, Interactive Media, Digital Design Option. Margaret Josephine Ross Boone, highest honors. Samuel Bailey Marshall, honors. Darylin Espinoza, honors. Andy Burgos, honors. Kyle William Prue, highest. 
Guest Honors. Trevor Gatho, Honors. Ebony S. Wilson. Alyssa S. O'Leary, High Honors. Peter P. Roberts, Highest Honors. Shannon Rose Colbath, Honors. Natalie G. Lebo, Highest Honors. Owen Christopher Bobert, Highest Honors. Jasmine Teresa Hernandez, Highest Honors. Dania Diaz Francia, Highest Honors. Jose Panetta, Honors. Gloria Ramos, Honors. Associate in Science, Interactive Media, Digital Design Option, Kinsley Cow Dowdu, Honors. Associate in Science, Interactive Media, Game Design Option, Daniel Raymond Stevens, Highest Honors. <laughs> Felipe no Neto Ribeiro, High Honors. Sean Emil Agripo Aquiliano, Highest Honors. Esso Marley Bernstein, High Honors. John V. Como. Colin J. Anthony, Highest Honors. Associate in Science in Manufacturing Technology, Certificate in Manufacturing Technology, and Certificate in CNC Technologies, Brian Boland, Highest Honors. Yay, Mr. Boland, congratulations, sir. Associate in Science in Manufacturing Technology, with Highest Honors, Harold Burroughs. Healthcare public health option, George, Marvin, and Tao. So give me nurse education, and if I announce the word RN after this graduate's name, that means they have graduated in December, have taken the exam, and have passed and become a registered nurse. So. Here we go. Nurse Education, Mildred Ogwang. High honors. <laughs> Chloe Sanginenda Nakuta Juba. Amber Lee Como, honors. Sophia Marie Driver, honors. Christina Kathleen Nelson, honors. 
Tanisha Marie Espino Honors. Alexandra Baldwin. Style Victoria Charles, High Honors. Danielle Nicole Abashant, Highest Honors. Chundo Drukpa, Honors. Larissa De Paula Guimeres, RN, High Honors. Silmia Nook Bro Aren High Honor Silmalia Silmalia Nook Bro High Honors Jamie Lee Mann Aren High Honors Emiluen Kimani A Songwen Betty Negwa RN, High Honors. Kiwaya Como Kataltal RN. Lynette Rose Ibanda RN, Honors. Mandy Perry, High Honors. Montana Achu Honors. Danielle Pauline Fisher Honors. Jasmine Faye Arrington. Tracy Ann Francis Highest Honors. Brady Bradley Gino Silvestri. Highest honors. <laughs> Bianca Alexandra Vaccaron. Vaccarono, high honors. <laughs> Cassandra Jasmine Robles. Tammy Ann Hughes. Tatiana Rangel Lamos, Honors. Daniela Patol Kangusa, High Honors. Associate in Science, Occupational Therapy Assistant. Sarah Jean Bess, Honors. Juanita Justina Pignataro, High Honors. Raven Hannah Martin, Highest Honors. Lorena Amaros, highest honors. Kelsey Helen Garanti, highest honors. Meredith Lee Roth, highest honors. Associate in Science and Radiologic Technology, Jamie Loach, High Honors. Kevin Macharia, Honors. Associate in Science, Respiratory Care, Richard Abankwa, High Honors. Gary Joseph 
Ocean. Honors. Hansi Confer. High honors. <laughs> Melissa Hiron, highest honors. <laughs> Denise Ryan Schwartz, high honors. Now, will all of the candidates please rise? Okay. Okay, here it comes. Stay up. Hold on. Upon recommendation of the faculty and by the authority vested in me by the Commonwealth of Massachusetts, I do hereby confer upon you the certificate or degree for which you have completed all require requirements with all the rights, privileges, and responsibilities pertaining hereto on. You may now reach up and move your tassels from right to left. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it is with great deal of pride and affection that I present to you the graduating class of 2022. Graduates, please be seated. We are nearing the end of our program, but before we conclude, I would like the graduates to help me do a few things. I would like to acknowledge a special group of graduates who have sacrificed and served us so well, our veterans. Will our veteran graduates please rise to be acknowledged? Thank you. Now, graduates, we know that you've made it this far from, because of the support of your friends, your family, your kids and parents, siblings, and your faculty and the administrators and staff that have been there for you through this journey. So this, in a way, is also their days. So would you join me now to say thank you to all the faculty, staff, family, and friends for their support with a warm round of applause. As we conclude our program, let me extend my personal congratulations to our graduates. When you leave us this afternoon, remember, wherever you go, you take Quinn Sigelman with you. You are always part of the QCC family, and we know you will make us proud and make our world a better place. Graduates, I ask that you please wait until the platform party and faculty have exited before departing. <laughs> 